Hello, this is Barrett. So today I want to make a video about one thing I believe, or at least haven't seen much talking around. That is, I don't want to call it investing, but but just a overall view of the Pokemon market, mostly sealed, but also if I do actually see that people are interested in this also singles, um, I hand singles on the European market. And that is a result of me looking for videos, groups, Facebook, Discord, about people in the European Union, in the EU, that either sell, buy, talk about Pokemon. And uh, there's actually really not many. And also on, on YouTube, all the people, I mean, all the YouTuber, Poketuber I, I watch are either Americans or uh, British or uh, Australians, and yet, they mainly talk about the American market. So just wanted to see if people actually are interested and uh, don't take what I say as financial advice in any way. I'm just looking at the market, see what's happening and uh, just talking about it. I'm sure if, if people will watch this video, which I doubt, I'm sure many people will insult me, but that's okay. I don't think it's gonna happen because I don't think anyone is gonna watch it, but Still, just wanted to see if people are interested in this, and um, I think it's also nice to, to get a view um, on the European market. So, one thing I want to talk about is volume, and uh, let's say, or at least the what's available right now, because obviously, if people don't list, we don't we don't know, and uh, what I believe are good buys in terms of booster boxes as of right now. So again, not financial advice. That's a big disclaimer there. Just, uh, I mean, and also everyone is already saying this, but they'll look at prices in the American market and also listings in the American Pokemon, Pokemon market. So so first of all, just wanted to take a look at Chillin' Rain and Fusion Strikes, which are, in my opinion, very good sets. I'm not, I haven't, been around for many years. I played Pokemon when I was 10, 12, and I collected it throughout the black and white era. I still have some cards. I mean, there's many more people more expert than me, but I, lo I like numbers. I like data. Uh, I'm a mathematician myself. I like finance. This is not finance. This is just cardboard, but still, I like the artworks. So I say, let's say I like the artworks. So Chillin' Rain and Future Strikes, great artworks, in my opinion. And uh, if we take a look already at the what's available, Chillin' Rain here at 220 booster boxes and Fusion Strike 280, we already see how compared to like Lost Origin, Tempest, and uh, what else is in, not much in this space, like Obsidian Flames, Paul D Evolved, like volume is like a tenth of those, which makes sense. These sets are what, two years old, one half years old, so. They're, they're getting there. If, if, if you look at prices, obviously, one, one thing that for those of you who are not maybe familiar with car market, so, so that reflects obviously the European market, is that I, I haven't logged in, but if I do, it'll show also the shipping price, and that obviously depends on where the se seller is from. I'm in Italy, so if I buy from an Italian, most likely I'm gonna pay less in shipping than if I buy from Sweden. So nevertheless, you can see how basically you can get them for 150 euros plus shipping, which can be expensive, about 15 to 20 euros. So I, when I do buy boxes, I like to get at least two. Yes, I'm not rich. I don't buy by the pilot, which I'm not sure how many people do it. And if they do, I'm not sure if they would ever watch YouTube videos about people talking about it. Um, for the, let's say, average Joe, I, I guess like one or two booster boxes is more than enough. So still, yes, this is like damage, but still get two listings. The problem is when you get single listings, uh, that price usually rise up. And, but here I'd say around 150, you could get uh, a good deal. So maybe 300 euros plus what, 20 shipping. So 160 bucks after shipping, pretty good. Uh, if, if you're not familiar, uh, if you're American, I, I don't know about Australia or the UK, but I know in, in the US you have to have you have to add taxes to what you see. Here it's already taxes included, just had to add shipping. So yeah, 
I would say 160 shipped maybe you can get it so for chilling rain and um, so yeah this had 210 listings if we just take a look at also the cases available 16 cases so 16 by 6 which is 96 so roughly 300 ish booster boxes and the cases go by 1300 also one thing you also need to consider is 200 10, but that's of all boxes and obviously you have not only English but Germans Italians French and whatever so less than 210 so less than 200 300 ish so I'll say around 250 or so but still not, not many compared to obviously the most recent sets and if we take a look at vision strike we see a similar trend again around 150 160 and maybe there's a bit more here on the low 150 or even high 150 but not going into the 160 but still similar price point and i would say also it depends on shipping but pretty much it's all it's around between 15 to 20 euros i don't like these stats because i don't think they're reliable when it comes to price movements i like to to look at tcg player not gonna lie or ebay less sold yeah this this is a good idea for how much you can get them from and another set I want to talk about today is Astral Radiance because if you look at Astral, you don't really have that many boxes available. There's 470 and then you have what? 12 cases, are they all English? Yes. So you have 12 more cases and then what? 400 and something boxes. So let's say 400-ish. And you can get them for cheap. I actually just got one 400 and... Uh, 510 euros with a silver tempest booster box for the same price which i think was a pretty good deal so this set is relatively cheap and uh, if we look at singles it, it it does have some good hits i'd say it has the all our machamp and then obviously pocky and diagia i personally prefer pocky over diagia for for this specific artwork i do prefer the crown zenith artworks gold cards i think they they look much better than these there's got guard champ and then again not my champ and then some rainbow palkia and diagia i mean one thing I, I learned throughout the years in in the let's say the cardboard market is that when something's cheap people don't usually want it you can think about chilling rain and fusion strike when they were what 90 200 euros dollars a box and uh, usually if for reference here in the u prices don't go as low as in the u.s because they are printed in the u.s uh, pokemon cards so they don't print them in europe so it's it's a bit ex more expensive usually and uh, if if a booster box in you the u.s go goes for 80 85 it doesn't really go that low here so when something is cheap usually people don't want it and uh, one examples i can give you is from Yu-Gi-Oh, which if you're really into Pokemon, you're gonna hate me. I can already see the insults. Oh, you talk about Pokemon, then you go over Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, I think it's a reasonable example for the point I'm gonna make. And that is, so I don't know if you ever heard about Ghosts from the Past. They made two printings. This is the second one, second haunting. And uh, back in March, I was selling a case, which is 10 boxes for five euros shipped. Now this set has some pretty iconic cards and artworks, which are Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, so um, the OG here, Red Dragon Action, and Ghost Rider is the highest printing of this card. Cyber Dragon, again, I believe it's the highest rarity because there's the, the original one is Ulti, and then uh, there's Starlight Promo, so this kind of the highest rarity. Again, Dark Card Dramon. So it's called Ghost from the Past for a reason. Um, it goes back to the, I would say, the most iconic cards of the game. And then there's just some cheap playing around cards. So as I was saying, I was selling the case for a 500 shipped. So again, 10 boxes, so roughly 50 euros a, K, a box. And uh, now, and nobody, nobody wanted it. Nobody. Six months into the future, move forward right now so don't care about the this uk listings because if you buy from the uk or switzerland you most likely gonna have to pay customs so if you look 
already in the EU. You can see how they start from 70 euros listing. And um, I recently posted uh, a sell post on Facebook from the marketplace about selling some booster boxes and uh, four or five people within a few hours messaged me about asking for a ghost from the past when i said 70 they didn't even negotiate they just just wanted to buy it so again it's just a 20 euros but that 20 euros is actually a 40 percent gain so again at 50 nobody wanted it nobody cared six months into the future people want it and it's 40 percent more expensive so that's basically the point I want to make with Astro Radiance. It's going to be the same. I don't know. Is it going to be more effective than Ghost from the Past? I don't know. It's going to zero. I have no idea. So last but not least, I just want to show you how the market is different indeed. And uh, if, if you are in the EU like myself, you were looking at the American market, you're looking at people talking about Brilliant Stars, which I also think it's a great set. The only problem is that if you look at Brilliant Stars over in the US, you can see how price has been going down and it's selling for $140 a box. Now, if we go back to car market and we look for Brilliant Star Bookster boxes, we can see how the cheapest, again, ugly plastic, ideal for opening. So the cheapest that it's not damaged, it's around 170 euros and that's without shipping. And I can tell you that usually shipping from Spain is quite expensive. So again, we're looking around 170 euros plus what, 15, 20 euros for shipping. So almost 200 euros for a booster box. So you understand how the market can be different. And yes, I do agree that it's similar. It's really similar. They move along, they move together up or down, but sometimes there can be some differences. And also, but I, I don't want to bore you if any of you is watching still, it's also a matter of liquidity. I mean, I don't think it, I don't even have to say that the American market is much more liquid than the European one. I guess that's going to be more than enough for today. Again, if you enjoy the content, if you want to see more, please let me know. I know I'm an expert. I don't want to be an expert. Just wanted to put out a video out there for those fellow Europeans that don't really get showed much appreciation, I'd say, as everyone is talking about this issue player, everyone is talking about the American market, and uh, I don't haven't really seen anyone talking about this. So thanks for watching. Again, let me know in the comments if you enjoy. Let me know what you want to see next. Let me know if you don't agree with something I said, and I'll see you in the next one.